All right, guys, welcome, welcome back to the IMAXIT YouTube channel. I'm your host, JD. If you're new, please do smash that like button, share, and definitely subscribe. If you're a member of the channel, massive, massive respect for continuing to support this channel. And if you want to become a part of the support of this channel, please do click the join button. YouTube will help you along the way. As you saw by the title, Sean Dyche slapped back at Damara Gray. What Damara Gray said before, we're going to analyze that. And then what he said, which is the manager, followed up. We're going to analyze that as well. And we're going to just give our take on it and let me know yours in the comment section. So, Dama, um, Sean Dyche, title, Everton boss Sean Dyche responds to damara agrees respect comment they continue to state, state here sean dash has been compelled to deliver the truth about damara agree after the winger claimed the everton manager does not respect him gray has not played this season with dash claiming the player did not want to train after being linked with a move to Saudi Arabia and Fulham. However, nothing materialized before Friday's European deadline. Saudi's um is Thursday. So Saudi deadline is after the actual European deadline. All right? Yes, so obviously it killed on the Fulham end, so only Saudi's deadline was open. But after being left out of the squad again for the 2-2 draw at Sheffield, Gray took to Instagram to hear is grievance writing grievance writing it's so difficult to play for someone who doesn't show you respect as a person person dice dice has now taken the unusual step to of addressing the issue in an interview with with club media it's an unfortunate one because i try to keep our business in house i think I think on this occasion, it's right to reply, Daesh said. Damara made it clear that he felt he was getting a move away from Everton. And he told us a move was done, which was interesting to hear from a player. We reminded him of the truth, of the fact that no moves are done without this club's say so wow we took after these we took we look after these players we look at all the different different ways of looking after them mental and well and well-being is big the fact that the technical and the physical is okay when it comes to a time like that then you go well Hang on a minute. You made it clear you didn't want to train. You didn't want to train to be here. And you also said there was a move that was a done deal. Well, it's not a done deal because the club is the most important. This club will make decision on the future of you as a player and not the other way around. I think it's right to let our fans know the truth. So let me get into that now. Um, Damar Gray, if you look at right here, Everton's side, because we look at two sides. Everton have only gone at one point in four games. And they have played Fulham, Everton, Wolves, and... You know, Fulham, sorry, Fulham, Aston Villa, Wolves, and and also Sheffield United. Four teams that they should be competing with in the Premier League, and they have only gone at a point. I want to believe that if Damar Gray was correct in his statement at first, which he never got, he never dealt with it different. He never came out and stated, oh, um, the coach is benching me. He said he, 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 you can't play for a coach that does not respect you. All right? Yeah, so he never got into any detail. But what I'm trying to say here, knowing that Everton ain't getting any results and you have one of your better players, them not playing, I strongly believe that if it was in the, the bad side of the coach, they would have actually forced Damar Gray to stay here and this would have been one of the reasons to get Shandash out of the club. I think that on this occasion, I tend to believe that maybe... um. 
wrong information went to Damara Gray that the deal was done, especially the Saudis deal. Remember that deal, we talked about it already. When we thought it was done and dusted, but the coach got changed. And then everything changed overall for him to complete the deal. So it looks like he got wrongful information to say that the deal was done and dusted. And it looks like the way he went in there saying that, yeah, the deal is done, so... It, it, I have no necessary need to maybe train or something or do anything. I'm just preparing to leave and get in a different mind state and stuff to get um, to the next next task at hand, you know, which is not accurate because the club owns you until you leave out the door and finish your medical at the next place because that's how it goes. You have to finish your medical at the next place because they can deem you okay to play here and then at the next medical, you're not deemed okay enough to sell to a next club. All right. So I do agree um, as to what Sean Dash them saying. Um, how it went there, you know, and he never talked about that. So Sean Dash just making sure the fans them know that this is how it went. I think based on what I'm hearing from both sides, I want to say, um, I would say that Damarogi might slightly be wrong here or misinformed. From his persons, his handlers, them, as in the deal finished. The deal was completed in principle, but never in reality. So we know that was true. But it cl it clearly tells you the deal just completed yesterday. Um, overall, with medical and everything finished. And that's how it goes. So I think it's a mixture of them. Grey just does not really know about the overall process to complete everything. And people gave him additional information to say it's done and dusted. So he can turn it back. And he turned this back on the players, them and the coach and the club before um, that time. And it looks like he burned that bridge and might get some bad, bad slack for that. All right, so let me know your thoughts in the comment section. The deal is completed now. He is um, a Saudi player. All right, so let me know if you thought that he handled it well or you think that Everton handled it well uh, so far. Based on what they have explained, it's easy to believe that side. It's easy to believe that side. One, one they are not getting results and you don't hear any manage, uh, management coming out and forcing him to play. And if it was down to the coach alone and then the management come out and said, Damar Gray, play, and we will get rid of the coach or whatever, he would have suited up at one point. All right? It looks like um, it, he, he had a fallout with the coach because maybe the coach's system, which we had already talked about, might, might not suit him. And then now he thought that the move, move was completed and it was not completed outside principle only. All right? And then it cause them as much problem so let me know your thoughts in the comment section smash the like button i will take the, 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 the i will take the side of the club and the coach this time all right yes i will take that side this time that's my stance on it so let me know yours and explain to me yours as well peace out see you in the next one